This is your evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts off with the weather. All right, Diane, thanks very much. We are looking at widespread storms to continue across southwestern New Mexico, not only tonight, but throughout the day tomorrow as well. Here in the metro area and points across the north, we get scattered showers. And as this storm well, misses us to the south. We'll continue with the heaviest rain across southern New Mexico over the next 48 hours or so, but scattered showers remain a possibility in northern sections as well. By Thursday afternoon, starts to exit on out of here, and the chance of showers goes down, but not for long, because as we head into the weekend, another cold front comes into the northeast. This one could pack some moisture and touch off some more storms. Albuquerque police are looking for a man who attacked a girl as she walked to El Dorado High School this morning. Sources tell us the girl claimed that she was raped in an arroyo that is next to the campus. Police say the victim was attacked from behind and did not see the guy. Investigators have a person of interest they want to question. He is between 20 and 25 years of age, about 5 foot 4, blue eyes, a brown crew cut, and tattoos. Sources say he is a homeless man who frequents that area. Officers patrolled the area after school and warned students to stay out of the arroyo. They'll be back tomorrow morning and afternoon. An autopsy has determined that the internationally known runner found dead in the Gila wilderness a month and a half ago suffered from heart disease and died of natural causes. 60-year-old Micah True disappeared after going on a run at the end of March. His body was found a few days later about seven miles from the Gila Visitor Center. True was the subject of a best-selling book called Born to Run. Join us for more news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.